Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to all of you in the virtual learning system of Pakistan International School Thai. This is your science class for grade two. And today we will do exercise of unit number seven. I am Mrs. Kina India. Okay, let's start student. Unit number seven, solid, liquid, and gases. Today we will do exercise, question number one. Make a collection of solids and liquid record your observation in the table below. Okay, here you will write about the state of the matter. In first column, there are five columns. Okay, in first column, you will write the state of the matter. And then its color, then shape, smell, and about its shape, can it change or mm, it cannot change, okay? Number one, what is this? Is it solid, liquid, or gas? What is this? Which state of matter? First, uh, listen again. Keep in your mind about solid, liquid, and state, okay? What are solid? Solids have definite shape and definite volume, okay? And liquid, it has definite shape, but not definite volume. Now, what about the gases? This is a third state of matter, and gases don't have definite shape and also don't have volume. Okay, so look at number one. What is this? What is this? This is razor. Razor. All of you have razor, and uh, what is its color? It maybe red white blue brown there are different colors but uh, this says it has white color it has white color now what is the shape of the ring what is the shape of the razor? it's cuboid its shape is cuboid now razor have smell or no yes but not too much, slightly you can feel it, okay? So what is the color of the razor? It's white, its shape is cuboid, and it has smell? Yes, it has smell. Now it can uh, change its shape or cannot change. This is the example of solid. This is the example of solid. So first of all, you keep in your mind, solid have definite shape and definite volume. So can its shape cannot change, okay? Razor cannot change its shape. It has a definite shape. Now you can define from this uh, example, from this column, you can define about a solid because this is a solid, okay? So it has definite shape and also it has definite volume. Is it clear? Now second one is lunch box. Second one is lunch box. There are different styles of uh, lunch box, but uh, you keep in mind this lunch box. What is the color of this lunch box? It's green. Its color is green, maybe red, maybe white. Okay. And what is the shape of this lunch box? Cubic. Its shape is cubic. It has smell or no? Lunch box has smell without lunch. Without lunch. It has smell or no? No, okay? Lunch box, it don't have smell, okay? So uh, can it change its shape or no? No, lunch box cannot change, cannot change its shape, okay? Because this is the example of solid. Now, I want to tell you about cuboid and cubic. Cuboid and cubic, these are the shapes. 
you have studied in uh, junior classes about shape, circle, square, rectangle, oval, triangle. But now, inshallah, in this class, in class two, you will learn about uh, cuboid and cubic in your math. Okay. But I want to tell you about the cuboid and cubic. Both have six faces. Okay. These are the shapes like uh, rectangle, but both have six faces cube and cuboid. Okay, student. But in cuboid and cubic, what is the difference between these two shapes? Uh, all shapes are not same. In cuboid, all shapes are not same. But both have six faces. Both have six faces. And cuboid and cubic both have 12 edges. And uh, how many vertices? Both have eight vertices. Both have eight vertices. Now, what is the vertices? From here, you can see. From here, you can see what is the vertices. It is a plural of vertex. Vertices is a plural of vertex. Now, what is a vertex? Vertex is, you can say, the edge, this corner, in this corner, three points are meet together here. Okay? So, it is called vertex. And vertices is a plural of vertex. Is it clear? So cuboid and cubic both have six faces, both have 12 edges and eight vertices. Is it clear? Now next one. These two are examples of solid. Now next is bottle. Is it solid or liquid? It is solid. What is the uh, color of the bottle? Red. And its shape is Cylindrical. Its shape is cylindrical, mean round. Okay, its shape is cylindrical and it has smell. No, bottle don't have smell. Bottle can change its shape. No, bottle cannot change. Okay, its shape cannot change. These are the examples of solid. Now, next one is bottle. Now, which state of matter is this? Water, which state of matter is this? It is liquid. It is liquid. And in the lesson, what you uh, studied about uh, water, we have studied about the liquid. Liquid don't have definite shape. Liquid don't have definite shape. Because when you will uh, put liquid in any uh, other con container, then it can take the shape of that container. So water it don't have definite shape but it have it has definite volume okay so what is the color of the water no color water has no color and what is the shape of the water different shape why because i told you water don't have definite shape when you will put in the glass then it can take the shape of the glass when you will put in bowl or plate then its shape change okay water has smell no it don't have smell and uh, can you change water into liquid yes sorry into solid or into gas yes we can change water into gas and into solid you have studied about this one in your lesson I mean uh, how we change into by freezing you can change water into solid and by melting you can change by boiling you can change it into gas so water its color is no color and uh, water has different shape water has no smell and uh, it can change now last one is milk now which state of matter is this milk is the liquid state of matter and it has white color and its shape is different shape, different shapes like water. And it has smell, yes. And uh, water, sorry, milk can change its shape. Okay. Milk can convert into ice cream and uh, also by boiling, it can change into gas shape. So here are five examples 
the uh, first three are examples of uh, solid and water and milk examples of liquid now question number 2 find out and write the names of any two gases find out and write the names of any two gases now these are oxygen nitrogen hydrogen okay here are three gases but you can write any two oxygen nitrogen and hydrogen all of you know about uh, the chemical formula of water it's h2o chemical formula of water is h2o h mean hydrogen and o mean oxygen and also i told you about the composition of air air it is a composition of a mixture of different gases like nitrogen oxygen and uh, some other gases okay so these are three gases and you can write any two gases next question is use the correct words from the brackets to fill in the blank okay this is the blank number 1 and at the end of blank you can see there are two words you can choose right word and then write here okay solids and dash can be seen easily what liquids or gases can you see gases no can you see liquids yes so what you will write here you will write here solids and liquids can be seen easily is it clear solids and liquids can be seen easily solids liquids and gases these three states of matter and which one we cannot see gases we can't see gases so what you can see we can see solids and liquids now number b dash cannot be seen easily what cannot be seen easily liquids or gases yes all of you know about this one i told you first can you see gases no so what will come here gases gases cannot be seen easily we can see liquids but we cannot see gases so what will come here gases cannot be seen easily now number c dash can be poured what liquids or solids which one what will come here liquids okay liquids can be poured now number d air contains many dash what will come here gases or liquids what will come here i told you air is a mixture of different what gases or liquids so what will come here air contains many gases many gases like nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide and some other gases number e what vapor is the gas that we get when we dash water okay what will come here when you boil water then what you can get water vapor okay water vapor is the gas that we get when we boil water when we boil water when you will freeze boil, uh, water then what you can get ice okay ice but when you will uh, boil water then you can get water vapor and water vapor is a gas number f dash is needed by us to stay alive which gas oxygen or vapor all of you know about this one which one oxygen okay oxygen is needed by us to stay alive what will come here oxygen is needed by us to stay alive now number g freezing can turn a what into a solid liquid or gas here in number e i told you now anyone can guess it what will come here freezing can turn a liquid into solid what will come here liquid into 
or solid but when you will freeze water or liquid then you can get ice okay so freezing can turn a liquid into a solid by freezing water by freezing milk you can get ice now number h one example of freezing is this is the best example for us water or ice water or ice <clears throat> ice okay one example of freezing is ice so what will come here ice now number i gases and dash don't have fixed shape they take the shape of their container now what will come here solids and liquids what is the definition of solid solid have definite shape and definite volume but which one don't have definite shape liquid we know about uh, gases gases don't have definite shape and definite volume but one another thing one another state of uh, matter that is uh, don't have definite shape so which one liquid what we come here liquid gases and liquids don't have fixed shape they take the shape of their container okay now listen again these uh, mcqs solids and what will come here liquids can be seen easily number b gases cannot be seen easily number c liquids can be poured number d air contains many gases because air is a mixture of different gases number e water vapor is the gas that we get when we boil water number f oxygen is needed by us to stay alive oxygen is a gas oxygen is a gas okay number g freezing can turn a liquid into a solid number h one example of freezing is ice one example of freezing is ice okay you can do also this experiment or uh, this activity at your home i told you in our previous lecture you can freeze water and you can change its shape and also when you will boil the water then again you can change its shape okay now number i gases and liquids don't have fixed shape they take the shape of their content we will play now we will do true false write true or false against each statement number 1 solids liquids and gases are called matter is it true or false tell me all of you is it true or false it is true it is true okay because these three are states of matter number 2 everything around us is not made of matter everything around us is not made of matter is it true or false it is false it is false okay because what is the definition of matter everything around us is made up of matter that is maybe solid liquid or gas but everything is made of matter so it is false why because here is you know written is not made of matter but everything is made of matter uh, so it will be false now number 3 air doesn't have weight air doesn't have weight is it true or false air have weight air have weight so it is false okay so it is false number d when water freeze it becomes ice yes is it true or false this is true okay this is true when water freeze it becomes ice it is true last one 
fire needs oxygen to burn fire needs oxygen to burn i told you before oxygen is very important for us because this is the most important gas we can we cannot uh, live without oxygen and another um, function of oxygen is fire needs oxygen I mean oxygen help in the process of burning okay oxygen help in the process of burning so fire needs oxygen to burn it is true it is true okay students now listen again number 1 solids liquids and gases are called matter it is true number 2 everything around us is not made of matter so the true or false it is false why because everything around us is made of matter and here is written it is not so it is false number 3 air doesn't have weight air doesn't have weight it is false because air has weight and fourth one when water freezes it becomes ice this is true and last one fire needs oxygen to burn this is also true because we know that oxygen helps in the process of burning is it clear this is our exercise and today's your homework is to memorize blank and true false okay and also write in your notebook okay students allah hafiz